All right, so we'll add our coconut cream in there. Nice. Put our pesto in there. Delicious, I love pesto. So be generous with your pesto, please. Two big, big tablespoons of pesto. Put a lot in there. A little bit is just not enough. We want a lot. All right, yummy. So while that's just boiling over there, I'm gonna cut up some chicken. And Ruthie is going to go through a few good benefits of this food. Absolutely. So pesto is full of unsaturated fat. So again, that's coming into the good fat market. And then it, the basil is still the star of the pesto. And that has a potent compound to stabilize blood sugar. Blood sugar. Yes. Okay. Wow. So if anyone has high blood sugar, definitely something to help stabilize the blood sugar. This encyclopedia over yeah. here, isn't she? <laughs> no, that's great. Oh, yeah. they really good benefits for um, pesto. And, Absolutely. Uh, I'm using thigh chicken here today. I've chopped a little bit of the fat off, a little bit of the fat there, but I'm using thigh. I'm going to chuck that thigh straight, straight into our pesto and our coconut cream here. No. I'm going to give that a nice good stir. See, it's already boiling the, the pesto and coconut cream, so the chicken's kind of poaching that chicken in there. So, I've made a fair bit here today. So, put our chicken in, that chicken's cooking nicely. So, this dish is going to be a little bit differently to normal mochi. I've got heaps of cream there, so this time, what I'm going to do is because I've got lots of cream there, I'm actually going to add my gnocchi in now. So I've got lots of cream, so my gnocchi is actually going to cook in that cream. So, so the flavours from the pesto are going to go straight through that gnocchi. So I'm, I'm doing, a, I'm not boiling it in water like you know yeah, I we normally do great, with gnocchi. You're definitely going to get the penetration of the flavours into the gnocchi itself. That's right. I'm just boil it in water. That's yeah. right. I'm just trying to show everyone that you can cook gnocchi in different ways. You don't have to cook it the same way all the time. So I'm going to add my bacon in here as well, so that bacon can cook all the way through. Oh, that smells amazing. Like I said, pesto is probably one of my favourite things. If you ask Paul, he'll tell you, if he puts it on vegetables, I'll eat them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I yeah. often will do a little pesto sauce and chuck it over the yeah. top of the veggies. Otherwise, my son and, and uh, my wife over here will not <laughs> eat them. See that chicken? It's already gone white. It's already cooked. It's so quick. It cooks very, very quickly like that. So, but we're not finished yet. No. Nope. We've got still a lot to go because we want our gnocchi to take in those flavours and to make sure that our gnocchi is cooked. It doesn't take long, as you'll see in this video, for that gnocchi to cook. It really doesn't take very long. So I'm going to leave my mushrooms till last. So what I'm going to do now is sneak over here next to you and chuck some broccolini in to our boiling water. Lovely. So, and I'm just chopping the basil from our garden for the dish. Right. I, it, I think it's a really fun way to use basil, even though there's pest, the pesto has basil, to add refresh just gives the, the dish of course, uh, of course, a, there's a, amazing flavours. There's nothing like adding some fresh, fresh herbs, herbs to your meal. You know, it just really accentuates those flavours. Just makes those flavours pop out. Makes it, you know, just oh, makes the it dish does. amazing. So this dish is coming along beautifully. I hope you try this one at home because it is a very, very nice dish. And again, very simple. We've really got chicken, simple. Bacon, gnocchi. Easy, mushroom. simple. So just a piece of cake. So I'm going to chuck the mushroom in now. So twirl that mushroom around a bit. So, get that mushroom all softened up and cooked through there. See, I didn't put my mushroom in too early. You just don't want to do that. You want want those flavours to pop out a bit. Um, don't worry, I will definitely cook them all the way through. Oh, look at that dish. Everything's just coated in that beautiful coconut cream and pesto. All that, oh, that flavour just smelling and just oozing. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's so nice. I love the combination yeah. of the chicken, bacon and mushroom. I don't think you have to overcomplicate this dish with a lot of other flavours. It's perfect the way it is. And this dish is really good for kids. Like, it's, uh, there's nothing spicy or hot about this dish. There's nothing really that kids won't like. It's just chicken, bacon, it's all the things that kids love to eat. So this dish is like perfect for kids too. So 
Mum's at home. Give this one a go to the kids. Really good. Fantastic. That chicken's done. That mushroom's just about. And it smells one amazing. My liking. Oh, this and is. And I'm always how quick, starving. How quick was that? Quick, easy. This dish is done. This is finished. No, no boiling the gnocchi and standing no. over the stove. And but that gnocchi is cooked. This dish is finished. It's done. Let's switch it off. Let's plate this up. This is beautiful. So I'm gonna pop this. Ah, oh, just. Oh. That is so delicious. Try not to make a mess here and make That's put it okay. everywhere. But. <laughs> Look at the sauce. Ah, oh, the sauce that you've created with the pesto and the coconut cream. That is. That is Absolutely really, really amazing. nice. That is a beautiful dish. Try this dish at home, please. So to top that this off, I've blanched a little bit of broccolini. One second, the broccolini is just going to go on top. And that's just going to finish this dish off with some nice vegetables. And a little bit of our... And... A sprinkle of our fresh... Ruthie is just going to... That's right, the fresh basil. We could go, oh, I'll go a bit heavier. Oh, yeah. fresh basil. <laughs> That all over Absolutely it. amazing. I hope you try Can't this dish at try. home. This is a fantastic dish. My version of gnocchi pesto. Yeah. Yeah, and it, mm. it's, it's just beautiful mushrooms and bacon. Got to give it, give it a go. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah. Now you're going to have to watch us dig into this because. Thank you. I'm starving. And I can't wait to try this because <laughs> I really wanted to try that gnocchi. I did too. Actually, I'm going straight mm. for the gnocchi. So it's cooked. Oh. Mm. Yum, and the flavour has gone right through oh, the gnocchi. Hasn't it? It's just amazing yeah, the way so you cook it. The gnocchi is pesto all the way through it. Absolutely beautiful. Try give this give this one a go. Thank you. That's okay. Thank <laughs> you for your help. Couldn't have done it without wow. your help. It's a great Lovely. dish. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you all later. Hope you enjoy this dish. Bye. See ya. That's so good. Mm.